Matthew, what would you say to those who are thinking it's got to be expectations so low now that maybe uh, the stock can rally on these results or at least beat expectations? Well, given the condition of the market today, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a, a reflex move up given the uh, low expectations. But I think realistically, even hovering around 200, I mean, the stock is still priced for ample member growth through mid-decade. You know, I think implicitly priced for, say, 200, getting to 260 by 25 well over 300 in the next you know, decade. So they really have to show that they can not only uh, apply a tourniquet, but really generate some nice growth on, on the member side as well as eventually advertising. So would you say you're skeptical of its ability to do so because the stock is trading, as we said, about $40 above where you think it's fairly valued? Well, I think you really have to look at this on a free cash basis, and you're, you're looking at a low to mid single digit free cash flow yield, spending a lot more on programming than they're amortizing. So the EPS number, the PE ratio is a little bit uh, deceptive. And you certainly have you know, more competition uh, you know, coming. You've got some very high profile releases uh, in the second half of this year, you know, House of the Dragon over at HBO uh, Max, and, and then the first uh, Lord of the Rings. You know, prequel. So I think the content execution has been really uneven, and I think that is the the principal driver, uh, clearly, along with economic conditions and, and such for the consumer. How does the strong dollar affect them? That's number one. And what will happen to the stock if the forecasts of a two million subscriber loss uh, for twenty for the second quarter uh, is is better than that? In other words, half that, let's say. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we really felt the street wasn't looking at FX. You really have to look at a basket. You know, roughly a little over 40 percent of the revenues are from the U.S. So there's some pretty material overseas exposure. I mean, that's not going to be what rattles people's cages. What matters is the member growth number and any uh, outline they have for their advertising uh, strategy. You know, if, if they if they are short of the two million, uh, I, I think it will hit the stock from the move it's made you know, today. But again, I think people will be really focusing on Q3 and expecting a, a mildly uh, positive number. I think the uh, expect consensus is around 1.8 million.